is for angel appearing so bright, telling of Jesus the first Christmas night. man back to the Father's house. is for quickly, as shepherds who heard hasten to act on that heavenly word.
beautiful Savior. To be this he came. To be this he came. The angel of God assigned him his name. The angel of God assigned him his name. T is for tidings for joy. Not of danger. Not of danger. Telling of him who was laid in a manger. Telling of him who's laid in nature. He was for us. To whom Jesus was given. To whom Jesus was given. To show us the way. To show us the way. And take us to heaven. To take us to heaven. Tell you was for wonderful. His works and his words. His, his works and his works. The king of all kings. The king of all kings. The Lord of all lords. The Lord of all lords. ABCs with us today. We all wish you a safe and joyous Merry Christmas. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good one. Good night, Dom. Sleep tight. Wait a minute, Mom. Don't leave yet. Can you stay a little, a little while longer? Sure. What's going on, though? You need to get some sleep. I'm scared. That book made me nervous. And now I'm thinking about all the things I'm scared of. Oh, like what? Well, let's see, there's airplanes, beans, bees, coronavirus, dogs, electric shock, fire, judgment, knives, lice, mice, nightmare, nighttime, orthodontists, poison, questions, roller coasters, violence, teasing under my bed, worms, x-rays, Yellow fever, fever, and Zoom. Whew. Did you just list your fears in alphabetical order? Whoa. Well, I can relate. I feel afraid sometimes. So how do I feel better right now? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, stories help. 
When I'm afraid or worrying, I remember that I'm part of a story that is way bigger than myself. And God's story is full of people who were sometimes afraid. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight. This part of God's story is during a time when many people were afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, in a town called Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Oh, hi. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Welcome to my home. We haven't met before, have we? Do you want to hear what I have to say? I do. Pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favorite one. God is with you. Um, what kind of greeting is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you are going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have to have no how can this be? How can this happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though people thought it would be impossible but nothing is impossible with god is all of that a question uh well are you asking me if i want to do this good question uh yeah here i am the servant of the lord let it be with me according to this message. I know, I have to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. Mary, I have to tell you something. You are... So blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I am also bursting with good news. God took one good look at me and and look at what happened. I am the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm, I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the low. Uh, can I stay with you for a few months? Mary is pregnant? How is that possible? We aren't married yet. The law says that is not good, not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation, at least. But she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I'm afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son and will name him Jesus, God's sakes, because he will save his people from their sins. Huh? I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary. And we're going to have a baby, and I'm going to name him Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. I need, I need to pack.
Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all that great things have done for you. There has never been an emperor so powerful and glorious as me. My emperor, my, my empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you. And you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your so that you can show proper appreciation of my I decree it to be so fair. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know, know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, the good news is, I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not going to wait much longer. Where are we staying? Oh, did you get me a room at that nice inn I like? The one with the good breakfast? Um... Not exactly. It was full. Oh no! What What are we going to do? Sleep outside with shepherds? Stay in a stable with donkeys? No. Who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his room. Oh good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Pray to God in the highest. <clears throat> Glory to God. Is this thing even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even even listening? Do not be afraid. I'll bring you good news that will cause great joy for all you, the people. Today in the town of David, a savior, savior, has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. Good news for all the people. The Messiah is born a savior. Glory to God in the highest heaven. That is all, goodbye. So you both saw that, right? Um, yes, yes I did. Yeah. Yep, that happened. Ah. Well, we're going, right? Yes, we are going. We have to go. Do we bring the sheets? I think we have to. Ah. Ah. Yeah, we want to come. Take us with you. Ba ba. What were those signs again? A baby wrapped in strips, stra strips of cloth lying in a manger. Bah. We won't forget. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. That was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in clothes and lying in the manger. 
friends, we have we have seen nothing or something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us. About us, shepherds. We're poor and and we don't have very much power. I have no idea, but the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen, like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the low and bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? If there would be, I believe there is no limit to what this baby sheep, this baby can do. Hey, shepherds, was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. Are really more like scientists. Astronomers, we study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Go ahead. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Yes, yes. It looks like we it look looks like we are here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody is talking about it. They all say that I'm a powerful king, the best king Belham has ever seen. We got it, best king ever. So we are here because we are looking for a newly born king. The children born king of the Jews. We observe his star, star at its rising. And we have come to honor him. Would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. To, to the smart people, hi, this is our, your king, the very best king. I need to know, according to your research, what is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Bethlehem, are you sure? Bye. Hi, wise folks. So, yeah, this is great. Go on and find this child and pay him honor and get back to me about this so that I too can honor him. Sure, okay. <laughs> we can do that. Uh, let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan a revenge. He felt very threatened. There was a new leader that 
people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. He brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't listen to the wicked king Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream to, to take a different way home. You might say we took the scenic routes. Now we return to watching the stars. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and your name is holy. And holy is your name. Your, your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arm. You have scattered the proud in in the, thought, in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and to their descendants forever. 